All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at Yep. This is a no code landing page builder. We'll scroll down here and look at what the alternatives that it is to. So ConvertKit, Squarespace, Wix. So it's definitely gonna be like a website builder that specializes in marketing pages and marketing funnels. Best for marketers, marketing agencies, solopreneurs, has some integrations, Airtable, ConvertKit, Zapier. Good stuff right there. Looks like it connects via CNAME right there. They say you can build a landing page in two minutes. Let's come check out the founders over here. And it looks like they do have a roadmap we can go check out in just a minute. Twitter, FAQ, and product hunt reviews. And then we can come look at over here from the founder. Zero coding is needed to make your landing page. AI helps make the pages that really grab attention by creating custom text and images, add content blocks, create email signup, uh, call to actions, add a post signup survey, integrate forms, Pricing and payments and implementation email, implement email automation. So it does have, definitely has all the things that you would need if you were going to be sending traffic to try to make sales of a product. You can publish these on yep.s a domain or add your custom domains. Hosting is included. So it's super easy to get online. So they're hosting your site for you. Adding Stripe or Gumroad for payments is a piece of cake. I do that other than Gumroad is going to take 10%, but you don't have to worry about having your Stripe account banned or anything like that. So Gumroad is a really good option. I'd like to see them integrate more like Lemon Squeezy, which is becoming more of a more popular payment processing company as well. Focus on converting your visitors into more leads. Instead of focusing on just a pretty design, analytics dashboard, you can download your leads list, integrate with third-party tools, and so forth. Cool. All right. And then they have A-B testing as well. So um, definitely a marketer's toolkit right over here. Let's go look at the, if there's any reviews yet, landing page in seconds, not hours. They were surprised how easy it was to use. Let's go check out this guy's page real quick that he built using Yep. So we have this page right over here with a nice button and launch your podcast, land your dream job. Start now. Let's see what the start now button does. It will actually take them over to, okay. It'll take them over to this podcast launch strategy. It looks like it's a course or something on AppSumo. So the button works. And overall, honestly, it looks really good. It looks super clean. This seems to be the layout and the, what the landing pages look like in the last few AI website building tools that I have reviewed. This one reminds me a little bit of uh, Lindo AI, just the buttons and the style and the text and everything. It just looks similar to that. And then we have over here, five tacos for, yep, a powerhouse of testing ideas and building leads. And then another five-star excellent long review short. It's a pretty long review right there. Okay, so they have three reviews right out of the gate that are five-star. Not quite enough to uh, make a determination or anything like that, but uh, we'll go and check it out. Let's go and look at the pricing real quick. So you do get all these features right over here, A-B testing and so forth. You can pause this to take a look at it if you want. License tier one comes in at $49. You get all the features above and you get two custom domains, 10 landing pages total and 250 email lead form submissions. I'm pretty sure that's probably per month, but it's not a whole lot. If you had one custom domain right here and you, start, and you really wanted to ramp up your marketing, then this, I, I don't know what the 250 email lead submissions, but that just doesn't seem like it's, it's enough. So they're really pushing you to license tier four on this one. I really just don't see how you would go and purchase license tier one when you have so much limitations. You're going to have 40 landing pages over here and you have unlimited emails right there. So it, this really is a deal that you're going to want to come in at license tier two minimum. We have license tier three that comes in at $199, 50 custom domains and unlimited landing pages, unlimited emails. So definitely this is one that I probably would come in at the license tier three if I was going to purchase this one. And then finally, if we come into license tier four, it's a true all in at $399, unlimited custom domains, unlimited landing pages and unlimited email leads right here. This actually, if you could build a local site on this, this actually even beats the Lindo, Lindo AI deal where I paid 400 or I paid 499 for 150 websites. This, they're hosting it for you and they're allowing you to hook up unlimited domains and their unlimited pages, unlimited everything. You could build a, a thousand websites on this or more uh, for just 399. So if you're serious and the tool's cool, 
and it does what you need it to do, then this might be one of those deals where you would come in at license tier four. Let's go and check out their website or their roadmap real quick, actually. So we have seven feature requests right over here. Multi-language support auto automated A-B testing. The user will be able to create two variants of a landing page. The system will automatically direct a designated percentage of the page views to blah, blah, blah. thought that they already had that, but looks like that's a popular one. People are upvoting Atta attachment and emails. Oh, add an attachment. So yeah, if someone signs up, they can get a free PDF or a lead magnet. That definitely is something that is needed. Okay, not too much funnel. Need to add funnels to filter customers as well as send automatic. So more automation. So they do have a system over here. It's not really filled out too much, but they do have a system or process. Let's go check this out. Build a landing page in two minutes. I'm going to go create a page real quick and I'll be right back. It's not making me sign up for my email. So let's go ahead and over here. Let's just say that we are going to build a grow your email list. Let's just say we have a product. Who's your target audience? People that want to grow their email list. Something like that. So we're going to start. So this is how it works. Uh, I haven't given them any information or my email yet. Uh, Magic content generator. Describe your product in as much uh, detail as possible. Okay, so you can pause the video and, and read that if you want. And we're going to say create content right here. So thanks for waiting patiently. This can take around 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Okay, so it literally took 10 seconds. Here's what we have on the screen so far. We haven't signed up. I'm sure if I push this publish button, it's going to ask me for my email and all that stuff. But it's cool that you get to get a taste and a flavor of a yep.so before even giving them information or email. So they get you get to play around with the tool. So that's pretty cool. Tool, cool. Rhymes. All right, so here we go. We have maximize your email list growth, learn cutting edge techniques to drive traffic and conversions for your landing and squeeze pages with our grow your email list course. That's pretty cool. Social proof adds instant credibility. So maybe we want to click right here and we would add an image. I'm just going to grab an, uh, any old image that I used um, from yesterday's video. We'll put that in right there. So there's a little tiny image right there. It says school. Click to change image right over here. So you literally just click on something and then you can come over here and you can embed a Vimeo video. Definitely would like to see more options than that. I hope that's not their only option because most people don't use Vimeo. I would love to see the uh, YouTube right here or other options. Loom, just a lot of different options. Uh, definitely, I don't like seeing the fact that there's only one right there. We can upload an image, use Unsplash. So we can say email and push enter. And then we have all this email right over here. And I'm trying to scroll down. I'm using the scroll button right here, or I'm using my wheel on my, my mouse and it's moving the back screen. So it's not letting me select any more than the two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have 10 options right here, but it doesn't let us scroll and look through any more than that. I would like to see, I'd like the ability to select from more than that. So for now, we'll just go with this one right here. And we changed the picture right there. Enable hero image full width. Uh, looks like we have some different options over here. So this is the full width with a big uh, image right there, or you can put a video there, but it has to be hosted on Vimeo. Like I said, I don't really like that. We have our full width right over here. Definitely. You're going to have to make sure you probably look at the dimensions of this and then create a banner, a full banner. I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and push the back button. Yeah. And then it just backed me out completely. That kind of sucks. Okay. I pushed the forward button. It did save this, but I'm not seeing how I can switch this back. I'm trying to see how I could send this back, but uh, I'm not really seeing plain sections, boxes, and you can select different layout options. Okay. So here's the images. I'm going to turn the full width off. And then we're going to come over here like that. I actually like the way that this looks. You'll have a little video or image right here. You'll have a button right over here. You can click. I don't see how I can change that. An image of a real person strengthens your social proof, blah, blah, blah. So we can come down here. So you just click on the image and then you would clear the image. You could put a, yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. Uh, the use an emoji, I put happy and then it just has text there. So it just doesn't, doesn't really make sense. There should be a happy face uh, emoji or something like that. So we'll clear image and photos by unsplash uh, right there. And then let's see if we wanted to change the text. It looks like that's going to be part of the other part. 
But we have comprehensive email lists. Our course provides in-depth and cutting-edge strategies to help you grow. So it really does create a full landing page, one-page website for you based on the AI. It gives you tips right here all along the way. This section is about making the value you, you promise above seeing concrete. You can do this in two, uh, so many ways. So it gives you tips on how to build a con high converting landing page right over here and so forth. And then you can add another feature by clicking this button here. You can click your image and so forth. And we can keep scrolling down frequently asked questions. You can add another frequently asked questions by pushing plus. And then you have your enroll in the grow your email list course today. They can put their email address in and enable now. You can add a photo here and you have all these icons down here. So it's a land, it's a simple landing page. If we wanted to publish this, I would push the publish button. And this is where you're gonna have to sign up or log in. And this is where it's not gonna save it. You are going to have to go and do a sign up or log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I signed up view page draft. So I just want to save it as a draft right there. Let's see what other options we have over here on the right hand side page settings right over here. This is where you would go and you could change your slug right here. You can change the color right over here. Let's make this blue page background color you can change that. Let's go with an orange for fun, just to make it fun looking. And this is where you'll change your page name, switch to yep, version two page design. Not really sure what that is. But if it's version two, it's probably, we want to probably use the newest version. You can enable showing the hero signup form right there. You can enable that or disable that logo image. Let's just put this one in as our logo image real quick. And this is where you would connect your domain. And you can send your email signups to my email only, Airtable, Zapier, or ConvertKit. So right now, you would use Airtable or Zapier um, as an integration into other platforms, and they're only integrated into ConvertKit. It would be nice to see GetResponse and Aweber and some of those other really big heavy hitter email services. It would be nice to see those, but looks like you can probably hook them up via um, Zapier. So they do have a lot of options called action, contact form, GDP or compliance. You can add a survey, you can duplicate a page. Once you find a really good converting page, you can duplicate it and continue the testing process or use it in another niche. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. See what our color looks like. Pretty cool. There's where that logo is up top. And overall, you've got a nice looking landing page. Nothing to complain about. I'm going to go click on the page analytics real quick and see what that looks like. This is where you're going to be able to see views, conversions, conversion percentage. Uh, your page views and conversions will show here. You'll need to publish your first page, though. First, it's going to track what your goals are for conversions and so forth. Goal three is your conversion rate 25% or above. The conversion um, for this uh, particular page is going to be getting email subscribers. So anybody that puts their email addresses and pushes click, you're going to have a certain views. So if you send 100 people and 25 of them sign up, you're going to have a 25% conversion rate and you have 25 conversions. So it's going to track that. I do like that. that they have a nice looking conversion tracking right over here. And it looks like it exclude my stats. I'm not really sure what that is, if it's going to track you logging in and out. And if that's the case, then you probably would want to click that button right there. I come back over here to the menu and we can go back. I just want to click on the, oh, here's our pages right over here. And if we wanted to edit, this is what the page views looks like. When you start adding a bunch of pages, you're just going to be able to see them over here. I want to see the uh, pencil button right over here. This is where you'd come back in here and start doing your editing. So it looks like there is a, a pop-up that every time you click on something and you want to edit it, I'm not sure about this button, uh, it, that part doesn't um, edit and the text doesn't edit right here. So I'm not really sure where we go to edit the text. I'm just not seeing that. The images do just fine. You can come in here and regenerate the content on the page uh, if you want to. Now you can use square brackets to apply a gradient text and an asterisk to force a new line. So that's how you would be, you would go and do that. So they have a bunch of different tips right over here, but I'm not seeing how to actually edit. You edit right inside of here. Okay, cool. So you actually type right here. I am now typing a new sentence right here to show you how to edit this. 
And then what did it say about the brackets? All right, so if I wanna put brackets around something right here, I would go, so if we put the bracket around that, I'm not sure if you do it right here or not, but we're gonna go with publish and on a yep domain, let's just try that. So congratulations, your page is live. It took you 14 minutes from start to finish. Now share the link, blah, blah, blah. So here is your page right here. It's gonna give you some suggestions on how to market it. But this is our URL. We can copy that and we're looking at it right now. That didn't work as far as the bracket right there. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can figure that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured it out. I read the directions again and it only works for headlines or your H1s right over here. So I put brackets around maximize and you can see it has a really nice gradient right there. Maximize your email list growth. That looks pretty cool. Like even some, I, I use this tool called seed prod and I pay $200 a, a year for it to build funnels and nice landing pages. And it's very elementor like with WordPress and it costs $200 a year. And in order to get features like this, you have to upgrade to their highest plan, it's $250 a year or something like that. So these are features that are at the highest tier level of a lot of other tools. You're getting that. So that's pretty cool. But just so you know, it doesn't work for just sentences, but it does work on the headlines. We'll go back and I'll show you what that looks like. So edit page, you'll see that right over here on, the, on this H1, I have the brackets around right here. And then that's what it looked like after we publish. I also am not seeing that the publish, the website does not have the orange background and so forth when I actually publish it. So I'd have to look into that. But overall, this is the tool. This is, yep, I would say they have some really good pricing considering that I just reviewed Vizzy. I just reviewed Lindo AI. And the fact that you can build these landing pages unlimited custom domains, unlimited landing pages, unlimited email leads form submissions. That is a really good deal, I think. One thing I wanted to look at is, are you able to add another page up here at the top? You are able to add footer links. You would just build other pages that could be your, like your privacy policy and so forth. And then maybe you would put these links in right over here, put the URL to it. And then you would add that and it will add it in. Let's just see what that looks like. So I'm going to say google.com. Let's just add that and see what it looks like on the footer area. Also, just little simple things when the UI, I can't exit out. I'm left clicking on the page and it doesn't get rid of this page up here. So you have to go all the way up to the top and then push this X button. They need to have a little bit better way um, of getting out of the settings. But then I'm not seeing the link that I added over here. We just push publish one more time and check the page out one final time. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Here's the page one more time. And there's the link over here to Google. I'm not uh, left clicking and it's not, the button's not working. So there's some things that are not perfect, but overall, is it building a landing page and is it gonna probably get better? Absolutely. I think this is a pretty solid tool. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments below. Did you like this tool? Is it too similar to Vizzy and Lindo? Is it limited because you can only build one page and, as opposed to multiple pages on the same site? Now, I think you can build multiple pages on the same site, but they would be different landing pages. I didn't see any options to be able to put buttons up at the top if you wanted to send people, if you wanted to build a local uh, site, for example, and have people go to services pages so you could build like a five page website. I think this really is geared towards strict landing pages like Insta pages, lead pages, click funnels, those types of things where it's really just a, a landing page. You're really trying to just get somebody's email address to market to them. I believe that's what this tool is for. So if you need a tool like this in your marketing tool chest, you're trying to build your list or something like that, then this might be the tool for you. Pricing looks good. Uh, link will be below. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.